Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be going out to the Innisfil Natural area again to get ourselves some snowshoe hair. So I thought, why not just do a new approach to the video and just kinda of go through the whole process. So let's get ourselves ready to go, eh? All right, here we are. I got to tell you, today is a wonderful day here in Alberta. It's, uh, it's two degrees in my car, that's what it said. So that's why I got the ball cap on instead of the toque. It's just too warm for that. So hopefully uh, with the temperatures going up, maybe Maybe the hairs will be a bit more active today. We shall see. Um, I did see, I wasn't sure if it was a dog or a coyote. It was too far away down the road, but I saw maybe a dog, most likely, from one of the farms around here, probably. But uh, he was just running around. So let's hope that doesn't scare away any of these uh, hairs today. So unlike the last video where I did a lot of talking, I think we're gonna keep it brief today and uh, show you guys some footage. Hopefully I can show you some footage when I finally see a rabbit and quietly record it. And possibly record the shot, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, I have very limited equipment. I just have a monopod behind me. So I'll we'll do my best to try and get uh, as good quality videos, but last time I was out here, I uh, didn't go straight for the uh, my usual spot for Harris. So I think today I'm gonna go to my usual spot and take a look. I mean, even though it's warm, there's still Tons of snow here, so that's why I got my snow pants on. Because even though I can tell you it's pretty darn warm, <laughs> I don't want to go through deep snow without snow pants on. So let's see and hope today that we can get ourselves a rabbit, eh? Okay, so we finally, we finally, we finally got to the spot. This is just the beginning of it, but you can see rabbits really like the dense brush. So where you want to look for rabbits, it's kind of you know, like they'll be like next to the tree, like kind of where my gun's pointing right now. Be liking to hide where there's a bit of cover above them, and it's very dense, so the predators don't get them. So we're gonna make our way through here very slowly, only taking about. 15 steps at a time and hopefully we'll see something so far I haven't seen any movement um, so I'm gonna keep walking through here trying to make my way as quietly as I can and uh, hopefully if I see some movement I'll be able to show you guys on camera All right, here's our first rabbit of the day. We got our first one. So that first one that you guys saw in the video, um, unfortunately, when I tried to shift positions, I unfortunately, he went off. 
but that's okay because we got ourselves a second one so now what i'm gonna do is i'm i always whenever i caught my rabbit like this was just shot a few minutes ago um not ideal shot placement i kind of got them a little bit um towards the top there so it's not ideal but he was pretty far off and my i have a red dot sight there's no there's no zoom on it so i tried to do my best to get as close to a headshot as i could um and because he was starting to run kind of aimed a little bit too far back behind the head but you know what it's okay it's one of the cool things when you're hunting is sometimes you're just I, I wish I could have got this on video um, I gotta invest in the future in a body cam but I was just walking like right behind me there and I'm not kidding this guy right here was like six feet away from me man <laughs> like so close I uh I had I got it was either take the camera out slowly or point your gun slowly so at the end of the day getting the animal is what counts so yeah sometimes when you're rabbit hunting you could have a rabbit that's literally six feet away so I quietly put my gun up took the safety off as quietly as I could took the shot off and clean uh, clean headshot looks like it went through the uh, lower jaw yeah it kind of went through the lower jaw here so yeah, but he's done so there you go two wraps today not too bad um but with my successful hunt i'm going to start heading back to the car if i so happen to see a third one cool but uh i'm going to take this one to the car and uh take care of it at the car because one of the things I forgot to mention is when you are in the woods and you are skinning your animal, the, there's something you should think about. Like, for example, when I first started coming here, I was just skinning the animal right on the spot and leaving the guts and all that stuff. And what I noticed is that when I came back a few days later, there was a lot of coyote tracks. So I packed up, uh, you didn't see in the other video, but I packed up the uh, guts into a separate bag. Um, and I'm going to toss them out near the uh, edge of the trail away from this area. I mean, this area is highly populated with rabbits. So last thing I want is to have more predators take away some good kill shots like this. So another good guy. Um, let's say he's about, I don't know, good solid maybe two to three pounds, somewhere around there. So should we get some good meat? But first thing is first is, a, yeah, you can see right there. <laughs> There, oh, kind of, but this guy has a lot of pee in him. So again, that's one thing you want to do before you start skinning him is you want to just run your hands along the belly like that and uh, get all that pee out of the bladder so that way you don't have to worry about it in the skinning process. Because as you can see down here, sorry about the camera angle, but all that urine in the snow. So, anyways, guys, there you go. Two rabbits. Not a bad day after all, eh? Well, there you have it. Back at the car now. Got my stuff all packed away. But, uh, nice, successful hunt today. Got a couple of rabbits. Gotta be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the shot placement today, but every day you gotta adapt to the different situations. So, um, the first rabbit that was shot today um if i remember correctly what happened was i initially saw him hiding behind a branch but the problem was the branch was covering his head so i had access at everything else but the head so what i tried to do is i tried to maneuver myself and uh get a position for a headshot and when i tried to do that it kind of spooked him a little bit so he did a couple hops and that's when he was kind of hiding behind some branches but I could make out what looked like his head and I could tell it was him. So I took the shot and that shot ended up being the one that went through the ribs in that first rabbit. And then the second one, that was, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Just taking a few steps and then boom, rabbit six feet away. Um, but the problem with the shot placement on that one was I was trying to move as slow as I possibly could. And he was also crouched down, kind of huddled up. So it was kind of hard to, to to get a clear or not really get a clear shot but kind of hard to 
make sure it was perfectly placed. So the first shot, it actually ended up going through um, a bit of the shoulders. Um, so he actually started to hop, or not only really hop away, but he started to make a break for it. And I had to track him a little bit, and then eventually I found him and took a second shot. And that's when I, I mean, I could walk right up to him. He was injured, so that's when I took the second shot. So again, not ideal, but you gotta adapt to every situation you got here, so. But either way, that's two clean rabbits. We're gonna head home now, uh, rinse them off, rinse off the blood, get them all cleaned up, and uh, get it ready to eat on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday we're gonna do a, do a video of the butchering process. One of them I'm gonna eat. The other one I'm gonna package it away and put it in the freezer for a future meal. Um, but stay tuned for that video, guys. But in the end, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.